Hello everyone and welcome back to Fins and Whiskers. My name is Shine and in this video I want to show you all how to grow wheat and barley grass for your small pets. Now this can work for guinea pigs, rabbits, hamsters, cats as well. Just make sure you are researching if your pet can have this before giving it to them. Now the first thing you're going to want to have are the greens themselves. I have both wheat and barley seeds with me and you're just going to want to put them in a plastic bottle. And you can also do this with a pasta strainer. Just make sure that you put a bowl underneath the pasta strainer so that it sits in water later on. But for this, I am using a plastic bottle and I'm just going to be pouring the seeds inside of the bottle. And very importantly, please make sure you are using the whole grain. I can't tell you how many times I have tried to do this with pearled barley as you can see in this clip and I used the pasta strainer method, um, but it just did not work whatsoever because it was the pearled barley and it did ferment. It did have little roots, but they did not grow more than that and they smelled awfully. So just make sure you do get the whole grain of both and you're just going to fill it up with the amount of seeds that you want. So for this, I'll be using a one half cup of each the wheat and barley seeds and placing them in their own individual bottles. And I'm using one half for the containers I'll be putting them in later on, but you can measure and use the amount of seeds you want depending on where you are going to put them. They can be crowded together so it isn't a problem. So the next thing you're going to want to do is just to fill the bottles up with water and if you're using a pasta strainer, just fill the bowl underneath it with water so that the seeds soak. And you are going to be doing this for about 30 minutes, but some people do it for as long as overnight. I personally prefer to only soak the seeds for 30 minutes because they do germinate faster and that way they do not have the issue of fermenting. So after 30 minutes, you're going to drain the water and I really recommend watering your plants if you have any with this water. It is filled with nutrients and you are not wasting water this way. And just right after that, you're going to store it in a dark place tilted in a bowl. So then on day one, the day right after doing all of those steps, you will start to see the seeds germinate and wheat, barley, oat, and rye seeds all germinate quite fast, in fact, the next day, and it will be ready for planting. Now, I'm just using rabbit poop as fertilizer and covering it with coconut core. Coconut core is a very important step because it will prevent mold growing efficiently, and you can find coconut core in any pet store, but the cheaper option would to be get it from a garden store like Home Depot. Now, you still need soil at the bottom because coconut core does not have the nutrients that the grass will need. And you're just going to sprinkle the seeds on top of the coconut core. I'm just sprinkling barley on the left side and the wheats will be growing on the right side. And I'm doing this just to observe which will be growing faster in the seven days that they will be watered and planted. Make sure you layer the seeds evenly and that they aren't crunching on top of each other so that they have room to grow. Obviously, they do not need too much room, but just enough so that they're not completely making a mountain on top of each other. And then you're just going to cover it again with coconut core and give it a good water. Because this is at my rabbit's level, I do have a egg crate that I'm using just to keep the seeds in place so that they do not uproot them. And this was found at Home Depot as well. And again, because this container is at my rabbit's level, I am putting lids over the top so that they don't eat it as soon as the sprouts germinate over the egg crate. Now on day two, I'm just removing the lids so that you can see the little growth. Now it isn't that much on day two but it you can see how every grain has started to sprout and on day four it's even more noticeable and almost every grain has sprouted by then and on day five 
you will start to see it reaching for light and look a little yellow. So on day six, you want to give it full sun. And at this point, I have moved it away from them because they have discovered that there is grass underneath and they wanted to eat it right away. So I did remove it from their reach so that it could get day seven, the full growth. As you can see, the grass is looking full and lush. And after the seven days, I have concluded that barley grows much faster than wheat. It did grow much taller and the wheat did stay at a standstill length for after three days or so. So after that, it's time to finally share it with the rabbits. And they were so excited to eat it. In fact, and after 10 minutes, there was basically nothing left. So... Just be prepared for your beautiful creation to be eaten as its purpose because they will enjoy it and they enjoyed it very much. And again, you can also give this to hamsters, guinea pigs, cats and other small pets. Just make sure that you do the research to see if they can um, and they should enjoy it as well. This is a very fun and easy project to do for your pets because you get to provide them with fast growing fodder that is very nutritious at this stage and it's just a great supplement in general for small pets. Now this is something you can do once in a while but you can also make your own daily fodder system and if you would like a video on that I will be making one in the future so make sure you do subscribe and comment down below if you do try I would love to see photos of your own grass and your pets eating them if you do try this um, if you follow me on Twitter at fins and whiskers then you can show me them there but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it was very clear on how to do this for your pets and that you are able to do it if you want. Um, they really enjoyed the grass and so did my hamster Simba. I do not have a clip of him eating it though because he does wake up very late and I was not awake when he did eat it. But that is it for this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it or tried it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!